they stand. And the prize money that's at stake here, I mean, the first place prize gets over a million. The guy who goes out next gets 230000 So we're talking about an $800,000 difference between the guy who goes out next and the guy who wins big money on the line. Started out with 279 players here in L.A. Down to these three. And look at this. Prahlad Freeman opening up his game with just a four deuce. He's going to raise the 200000 But Todd Terry behind him has said all in. Todd's got King Queen. Kevin and Prahlad quickly evacuate the premises here. So the math whiz out of Harvard taking down that pot. Todd Terry from Hoboken, New Jersey. Been a professional for two and a half years. Former lawyer. Also graduated from Harvard with an applied mathematics degree. Well, he better win this then. Well, Vince, I'll tell you, when you've got all those educational degrees and you decide to play poker for a living, that's sort of like saying that you're doing it my way, just like another guy from Hoboken, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> that is true. All right, back to this hand. Big hand here. Kevin quickly folding now. Prahlad with a quality hand. Ace, queen of clubs. And he's put the chips out there, going to 200,000. Well, Todd Terry's picked up a pair of fours. I'm all in. And he's going all in over the top uh -huh. again. Ooh. He's quickly been called by Prahlad, however. So here we go. Todd out in front with the two fours, but the classic race situation, the two over cards versus the under pair. You want to win poker tournaments. You got to win these races, whatever side you've got. Who's going to get lucky here? Here comes a flop. Will the math pay off for Todd? Queen right on the flop. Come Queen Jack six. Just amazing. What a flop there no for Paul. No well, the math whiz doesn't need a slide rule for this. Oh. He knows he's got to catch a four to win the pot. A king comes off on the turn. We are down to the river. Todd Terry must catch a four to stay alive in this tournament. Doesn't do it. King comes off. Back to the library for the intellect. Todd Terry out in third place tonight. Yeah, King on the river. Very mathematical poker player. Big performance here tonight. Going to take home 231,000. So with that, we have two players going after this title. Well, the beautiful babes from the Bicycle Casino putting the cash on the table. And folks, that's about a million and a half dollars oh. that these two players are going to split up between themselves. As well as all that cash, they're putting out the beautiful customized champion's bracelet. Why are you sending them away? We are down to two players right here in L.A. Heads up action about to begin here on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Why are you sending them away? I don't get that. We got plenty of seats here for them. To these two, the winner tonight is going to take home over a million dollars. The second place finisher gets about 470,000. So a big difference between first and second. Prahlad starting out this heads up battle with over a three to one chip advantage. Action on Kevin. And he's going to limp in on the button with the queen three of hearts. Prahlad behind him with a jack four of clubs. Well, he says, give us a flop. Prahlad's dad. On his feet. How exciting that has to be to see your son going after millions. Well, it means your pension's going up, Vince, if he wins this thing. <laughs> Look at this flop. Two pair there for Kevin. And the flush draw for Prahlad. This is ridiculous. We can have fireworks on hand number one of this heads-up battle. Prahlad comes out with a bet of 100000 I'm all in. Wow. And just that quick, Kevin has gone all in for nearly $2 million. Now that even gets huh. the breath of Prowl out here. Glint on the button with an ace. Well, he doesn't believe he's got an ace, but still he's just got a jack eye and a flush draw. And most poker players hate to call their money off with a drawing hand. Out. Here's a case, however, that if Prowl makes the call and would hit the flush, this tournament would be history. Six if he plus. plays it and loses it, they're still about even in chips. Do you really want to give your opponent two million dollars while you're drawing out of hand? That's the question. One ball in, gee, so big. Why you raise so much? Could have raised a couple hundred. Got to gamble. Gamma. Got to gamble with you. Well, it's the size of the raise that piques the curiosity of Prahlad. <sighs> I think you are gambling. I 
I just might have to gamble here. I don't know. Want to phone a friend? I do, kind of. <laughs> phone a game theorist. I don't think you have an ace. I don't think you have a flush draw. <sighs> That's a tough decision for Prowl out here. I think he's gambling. I believe because he's got the I chip lead and can afford to make here. the call, is the reason he might any. make it. It's all good. Whatever happens, it's good. Whatever happens, yeah. But still, you hate to call $2 million ah, off on a flush draw. I just want to gamble here. Doesn't matter what you have. My decision's made already. I'm going to call. He's called it. So here we go. It's two pair. But Kevin is not going to like he's up against the flush draw because the truth of the matter is he was hoping his opponent had one pair. Well, Prahlad has a shot. All he has to do is hit a flush here without a queen or a three, and he would be knocking out Kevin. So Kevin shuffles tournament life on the line right here. I thought you might have a lower flush draw. That's the only reason why I called. If his two pair hold up, I mean, you'll double up and we'll be even in chips. Assertion. If I mean, not, Prahlad like Friedman seven. will be our champion. <laughs> Two good sports, two guys happy to be playing for this title. Only one can win, however. Could happen right here. Nope. Eight of spade comes on the turn. We're down to the river card. Prowlad must catch a club to win this pot. Can he do it, become the new legend? No, and he's not gonna have it happen there. Nope, Deuce of Diamonds comes off. The fist pump by Kevin. He sits back down. The scratch golfer, birdie in that hole for sure. 180. Well, so on deal number one, Kevin Schaffel doubles up and is feeling good right now. Well, we started five days ago with 279 players. We are down to two. They're about dead even in chip count. First place tonight, over a million dollars. Which one of these gentlemen is going to become a new legend to join the likes of the great Doyle Brunson and Dan Harrington, among others? Let's go to the felt action on Kevin Schaffel. This time, Kevin with an 8-7. He's going to limp in. Prahlad's picked up a nice hand here. Yeah, very nice hand. Wired 10s. 300 total. And he's going to raise it. Yep, it's a $200,000 raise. Makes it 300000 to go. Well, Kevin wants to see a flop here. He also wants to send a message just because I limp in and you raise doesn't mean I'm folding every time. All right, 8-7, up against 10s. Here's our flop. Our flop comes 6-4 deuce with two spades. 10 still out in front, but Kevin does have an inside straight draw. He does, but when you've got two 10s, you're happy to see this flop, believe me. You know, he's going to bet a half a million dollars into Kevin. Does Kevin want to gamble with a gut shot straight draw? The answer is no. So Prahlad increases his chip lead. Farlot, a great player. He's different from most poker players, I'll give you that. His own little hippie mm -hmm. lifestyle seems to be working here. So both players playing fairly aggressive in this heads-up battle, Vance. Pretty impressive play by both of them thus far. Both these guys savvy poker veterans that have both been under the bright lights before. Farlot is a bracelet winner from the World Series of Poker. Kevin Schaffel. Made the fame November 9 in 2009 when he made the final table of the main event of the World Series of Poker. So certainly both of these guys have been in big time pressure situation and big time events before and performed very well. Both going for the first WPT title tonight. Well, he has a big shot with this hand. He's picked up ace queen here. A quality hand. Well, he's going to play the sneaky Mike. He's just called it. He's giving Kevin a free flop to possibly beat him. Kevin. With 9-5, obviously not going to raise. So here we go. Let's see if he can get lucky. Yeah, flop comes queen, three deuce. A nice flop for Prahlad. Top pair, top kicker. Oh, just a thing of beauty. Kevin getting none of that, and he checks it. And no more trapping here. He's going to bet the top pair. Looks like 200,000. Well, Kevin with nothing gets out of the way here. 
So Prahlad continuing to increase his chip stack. And Vince, in fairness, at this final table, you have to say Prahlad has caught the most cards. Certainly played well, no question about that, but boy, does it help to catch cards, especially at these WPT final tables. This could be his time, so to speak, but right now it is time for the blinds to go up to 60,000 and 120. More expensive to play poker here. Well, Kevin has the button. He's first to act. He picks up Kojak. He's got the King Jack. Pretty good hand in a heads up situation. Yeah, he's going to apply some pressure. He's going to make it 300,000, it looks like. Again, Prahlad picks up Ace Queen. Oh, man. Now, last time he just limped in with it. It's a different scenario, though. Because his opponents raised it on the button this time. 800 this could total. Be a big opportunity, and Prolog is not going to waste it. He's going to raise it to 800,000 to go. It's a half a million dollar raise. And now it's back on Kevin. And if he makes the call, he'll still have three million left or so to play with. I want to see a flop of this hand. They want to just lay it down. But to lay these kind of hands down, playing heads up. I'm all in. He's going to go all in here with the King Jack. That is a big raise, close to $3 million in addition. Well, there's some of Kevin's golfing buddies. Kevin, the scratch golfer here, has just sliced one perhaps out of bounds if he gets called. He is going all in here. Prowline with an ace queen, a premium heads up hand. I call. Wow. He's made the call. Reluctantly. Well, yeah, he has made it. You're always nervous with it. Oh, easy. Yeah, Kevin says that, that should have been easy. Ace queen. And he doesn't like it. Ace queen up against King Jack for all the marbles. Well, Prowline's people. Well understand that if he wins this pot, he'll be the champion here and take home that million bucks. So proud out all smiles for making that call. He's the favorite to win this hand and take this title right here, right now. What a call he has made. The title on the line. His wife and friends rooting him on. They can sense the urgency right now. Come on, doggy. Oh, the little doggy. On the table. And there's Kevin's golfing buddies holding their breath right now. They know their man. He's got to get out from behind the rough and behind the trees to win this putt. <laughs> Five cards to come. Here's the first three. Ace. And flop comes 10 3 deuce. So Kevin's going to have to catch a king or a jack or two running cards to make a straight. Otherwise, Prolad Friedman will be our champion. Four diamonds on the turn. Yeah, not good for Kevin. Four diamonds, also good for Prolad. He is one card away from the championship. So we are down to the river. Kevin must catch a king or a jack, or this tournament is history. Oh boy, we'll have a new WPT poker made me there. It's a nine. So there it is. Prolad Friedman from Malibu, California, is our champion. What a tremendous effort as he goes to his friends. The vegetarian champion says, Tofu for everyone.